hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thank you all so much for watching thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in if that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you all and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes only so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all let's get to it first i want to say happy saturday <laughs> i almost forgot what day it was y'all happy saturday i hope everybody is having a wonderful day please stay safe and all that good stuff please stay aware of your surroundings and please y'all watch the company that you keep because it just may save your life and keep you out of trouble okay y'all so i wanted to take this time really really quick to send condolences to the family y'all i did a video yesterday on fat man scoop and i talked about how he um, collapsed on the stage the other day yesterday and he didn't make it y'all he did not make it and a lot of people is feeling like this plays a part with everybody that was getting stuck and all of that stuff i don't know if he was stuck or not okay but for him to be out and about the way he is or was you know and not covering up and this and that and this and make you think that maybe he did get stuck thinking that you know he's protected or whatever 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 but a lot of people feel like this could be from you know those side effects from getting stuck because there's a lot of celebrities has been passing away a lot of people period have been passing away after they uh, got stuck y'all they are or their health has gotten worse i myself even talked to somebody i went and talked to somebody and i was like um, did you get it? And they were like, yeah, I got it, but I didn't want to. I had to do it because I, you know, my job. And if I had the choice, you know, to take it back, I would, I, I surely wouldn't have done it. This is what people tell me when I asked them about it back, you know, when I was asking about it, you know what I'm saying, y'all? And they were telling me that, you know, they were, um, uh, fine before they got stuck. And then all of a sudden they started getting, you know, sick and stuff like that, having little issues going on with them. So this could be a side effect from it, y'all. A lot of, a lot of athletes has passed out. Okay. Very healthy. No underlying issues. They made them get stuck. And a lot of them is dropping like flies. So this could be a part of that as well. And it could also be not taking care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself. I keep saying that all the time. You got to exercise. You got to eat right. You know, you have to do that anyway. Just so when you get older, you don't have so many underlying issues going on with you. Because the, the food, the, everything that's going on right now is making things worse, y'all. It really is. So I wanted to jump on here and just say condolences to the family. Um, his kids is taking it pretty well, to be honest with y'all. They are. I saw um, somebody sent me a video clip of the kids and they were talking about their father and one of his daughters, she was talking about she was the favorite and that, you know, he wouldn't want them to be crying right now. He would want them to be happy. Um, that goes to show you that this guy had to been a great father. Okay, y'all. And it seems like he was a great person too, because it's it so many people that liked him. So I just had to, you know, come up here and say, you know, rest in peace to him and condolences to his family. And, you know, let us, you know, kids know to stay strong. But as you can see, they already staying strong. They cracking jokes and everything. And they're talking about how he, he just really wouldn't want them to be pouting and crying and all of that stuff. So, um, look like he, he raised some very, very strong children. Because I'm just be completely honest with y'all. I broke down when my father passed. It was just... I even broke up with my boyfriend, y'all. I broke up with my boyfriend because he was just saying some weird stuff to me. And I can see it if, you know, we were past the funeral and all of that stuff. We were still in the beginning of him passing. The funeral hadn't even taken place yet. And, you know, it was, it was, it was just the things that he was saying just seemed so insensitive to me. Like people pass away every day and why you, you got to move on and I, you know what I'm saying? And I understand that, but to rush me through it and a funeral hadn't even, you know, that was just so insensitive to me. And I just felt like this wasn't the right person for me. And I never looked back and I, you know, I was like, wow, you know, was this sign that I shouldn't have never been with this person in the first place? I'm just saying y'all, it's weird, but yeah. 
I took it really bad. And I didn't like people to say things to me out of, you know, pocket that, like he was saying, that other people had. I was like, wow, this coming from you? You know what I'm saying? That was weird. But, yeah, I'm glad that they're taking it, you know. <laughs> they're taking it well. Okay, y'all? So, I just wanted to take the time out to, you know, send condolences to, you know, the fans and everybody for that as well. Now, let's get into Puffy, y'all. Let's get into Puffy. Because the word on the street is Puffy is not the only one under investigation, y'all. They're saying this Daphne Joy, whoever she is. I think this is uh, 50 Cent's baby mama or somebody. Um, but anyway, they say that she... I think this is the one that they say that, you know, digs into people's stuff, you know, hacking stuff or something like that. This is what I heard, y'all. So I'm going to say allegedly. Um, yeah, they're saying that she's under investigations too, y'all. Word on the street is Puffy is going to be arrested real soon, y'all. Word on the street. The federal authorities that's investigating Diddy right now, they're doing it to possibly get a criminal indictment against a uh, music mogul. Um, and they are issuing a new grand jury subpoena related to the hotel in Florida. Now, they digging into that hotel. And I'm going to tell you how it is. This is a good thing that they're doing that. Because number one, that hotel got paid off. To be quiet. Uh, number two, if you can get away with stuff and got a hotel in your back pocket that you can pay them to, you know, cover up stuff. You're going to go to that hotel all the time. That's going to be your favorite place to go to. And word on the street is he was like renting the whole floor. So this is why nobody came out when she was running down the halls and all of that stuff. This guy really made it convenient for him to do the things that he was doing and get away with it. If you rent out a whole floor, you ain't got to worry about nobody coming out of their rooms Listening, seeing you do things that you was not supposed to be doing. And for a hotel to let you do things like this and get away with it, I can't wait till they pick this man up, y'all. Because they are, I'm telling y'all, they digging like no other. And word on the street is, Puffy is talking, y'all. I told y'all this. Puffy is talking. Puffy is not going down by himself. That's one thing for surely sure. He's not going down by himself. They're saying that federal prosecutors from the Southern District of New York got a subpoena requiring the, the fancy Miami hotel to cough up documents and other evidence related to Diddy. So whatever it is that they have on him, whenever he came there and all of that stuff, they got to put it out there now. Everything. Okay? Um... Diddy and his ex, Daphne Joy, are both named in the subpoena. The subpoena calls for the hotel to hand over uh, reservation records, including Diddy and Daphne and other associates of the Bad Boy Entertainment CEO. Um, the subpoena spe specifies the period from January 1st, 2008 to the present. So y'all y'all know this, this it's a lot of dirt going to come out of this from, you know, my understanding. Okay, y'all? Um, they are asking for check-in and check-out dates, room numbers, guest preferences and requests, and billing information, including room service. Oh, y'all, they are going in on Diddy right now. Federal prosecutors also requested email and mailing addresses and phone numbers, along with forms of payment, such as cash and credit cards, y'all. They about to be started. Well, I ain't going to say they about to be. I think they already been digging into his finances in the first place. Okay, y'all? Because I was telling y'all about, you know, they were saying about this taxes stuff. When they get down to these taxes and you start messing with the I to the R to the A. Is it IRS? IRS. Yeah, that's the one. Okay, y'all? Um, They don't play. Prosecutors further, further. They're asking for computer IP addresses and logins for the individuals as well. Y'all, as well as copies of their identifications and vehicle information. What's more, the feds inquired about surveillance footage at the hotel. So they want all the footage, y'all. They want everything. When they go pick up Puffy, they are going to have every T crossed and I dotted, y'all. 
this is what's taking so long as well as allegedly puffy working with them people i told y'all puffy puffy is slick in one way but in one way he's stupid okay y'all um but i think that the, the stupidity of him is the part where he got so big that he thought that he was untouchable that's the stupid part about it okay y'all um as far as all the parties that he was throwing and getting dirt on everybody that's the part that's the part that's going to save him from probably not facing life in prison because when he give up a, some big fishes some serious information which he's already doing my understanding okay um because how else would you know all this information be coming out about who all in business together and all in cahoots together the steve harvey um jay-z all of these people in cahoots together with you know bash pro shop how in the world would all this information be coming out if not okay y'all this is crazy y'all the stuff that's coming out right now they're saying that the new subpoena was issued only a couple weeks ago so it looks like the authorities are still hard at work on the Diddy, you know, situation. Um, as reported in March, Homeland Security agents raided Diddy's home in Miami. And this is where they're mainly coming for him at. They want all the dirt on Miami. It's whatever he did in Miami. But they really want dirt everywhere he did dirt. But they're really coming for confiscating and coming for stuff in Miami and Los Angeles during an ongoing investigation into the record executive for alleged wrecks and you know street pharmacy you know moving around from state to state stuff all of that stuff um they said a federal a federal grand jury was convened and witnesses were notified they could be called to testify in the southern district of new york so it's gonna be interesting y'all think that young thug case is you know out here on a limb um, Puffy's case is really going to be interesting, y'all. It's going to be in interesting to see who all is going to be a witness, who's all going to come forward. And I do believe that the majority of the people that's probably going to come forward is his ex-artists, y'all. That's my personal opinion. Especially the ones that got close enough to know um, personal stuff that he was doing and what he was into. Okay, y'all? He is named in eight lawsuits accusing him of, you know, all kind of stuff, different things, okay? The most notable one was the ex-girlfriend Cassie one, which he settled real, real quick. And word on the street, he's settling a, a lot of others behind closed doors as well. Okay, y'all? Now, I want to say this. Um, I want to say this. Word on the street is one of... Um, Kim Porter's family members, I think a niece or something like that, that used to work for him. We didn't know she was some kin to Kim Porter. We didn't know at all. Um, but we did hear about this mysterious babysitter that was babysitting, you know, the twins and keeping them, you know, company after um, Kim Porter passed. Well, word on the street is. And we heard about this a while ago, that um, this female that came forward, we heard about how um, she was fired because she got pregnant. And she told everybody, she told the world that Diddy fired her because she got pregnant. And she wasn't married and all of that other stuff. Okay, y'all? And he has all these babies with, and he's not married either. So that didn't make no sense. But they said the real reason that he fired her is because the daughters was asking questions about their mother. Okay, y'all? And it, it must have got out some type of way and got back to him. But he got cameras everywhere, so of course he's probably going to know everything that's going on and what's being said in his house and all of that stuff. So it couldn't have even got back to him. He could have just had a camera around so that he could keep... See, a person like Diddy that likes to stay in control... And they're the type of people that like to have cameras all over the place so they can see what you're doing, what you're saying about them, and this and that and this and this and you're loyal and all of that stuff. Now, I don't know where these cameras was <laughs> when old boy was lining them up. But, um, y'all, this female, they're saying that right after, you know, she was fired and all of that stuff, 
she too started working with them people. They said she been working with these people. That's coming for Puffy. Now, word on the street is, now I don't know if this is true or not, but this is the things that I am hearing. They're saying that Puffy settled with this, this female. The one that was fired. They're saying he settled with her, y'all. So she knows some dirt. She knows some things. And she's close to his daughter. His daughters. Okay? So she knows some really, really, really inside scoop about stuff that's going on. As well as family stuff. Now, word on the street is, too, I'm hearing that um, the family is on board just like Tupac's family is on board to come for Puffy. Um, Kim Porter's family is on board to come for Puffy, too. Now, y'all, this is what I'm hearing. And they're saying that this niece or whoever she is, the babysitter slash babysitter, they are saying that Puffy didn't know that she was working with them people. And he paid her off to drop the lawsuit. She dropped the lawsuit, y'all. But word on the street is it was really still too late because she had already started working with them with the feds. So he really paid off for nothing. Okay, y'all? Because whatever information that she have given or what been working with him talking about to the feds and stuff, he just paid her off for nothing. That stuff is already out there. Word on the street. This is crazy, y'all. This is crazy on so many levels. And this, everything is about to just blow up in his face. Because whereas he thought that he was on top of everything, he ain't on top of nothing. Because now they are laughing in Puffy's face, saying that you didn't want to pay her all this money. She went on and accepted that check. Knowing that she had already been working with the people off the top. Now, not only Diddy is in inve under investigation, but this Daphne chick who is um, supposed to be some, a hacker or something like that. She's somebody that deals with surveillance and all of that stuff. Who been helping him with his surveillance stuff, spying on people and getting dirt on everybody so that he can probably blackmail them or whatever he do with the you know the video footages and whatever that he does because they say he has some really 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 rich friends that comes that used to come to his house and party. So she was allegedly the person that was helping him and she's under investigation too. So she just may go to jail with him, y'all. Okay, um, stay tuned, y'all. Because it is about to go down and everybody is waiting for it. They're waiting for it. I don't think we're going to have to wait till next year. I think that this is going to hit around the holidays. And I think that Puffy is going... I think they want to get him to the point where there's no bond. That's what I really truly think. That they want to get him to the point where there is no bond. That he, goes, he has to sit there and move from court to court. You know, without a bond. And they working on them pockets right now. Seriously, y'all. They are truly working on them pockets. So it's a possibility that he is going to be looking just like R. Kelly in jail and broke. Because right now, them lawyers is eating away at that cash right now. And he is still settling stuff behind closed doors. Allegedly. Okay, y'all? So it's a lot going on. We are finding out, though. We finding out some stuff. That him and, what's that guy named? Elon, whatever his name is. The guy that, you know, bought social, you know, a social media platform. Word on the street is Puffy was a silent partner with this guy too. And that he was banned into social media stuff. Okay, y'all? Um, So it's a lot coming out right now. See, people don't know all the, uh, even all of these silent, you know, business deals that he had that people didn't know about. They're all coming to light right now too. So they're digging in them pockets, y'all. They're trying to find out whatever way they can find a dollar from. And I do believe that Puffy, he might have planned for this. He might have put money stashed away for this. The simple fact that he was putting stuff in his daughter's name and his mama name and all of that stuff tells you that he just stashed away a nice piece of money. Okay, y'all? So stay tuned. That's all I can tell y'all. Stay tuned because any day now, any any minute now, um, Puffy is going to be arrested, y'all. They are not playing with Puffy right now, as they shouldn't. And he is going to get everything that he deserves. I do believe that. And like I told y'all, um, the only thing that's going to save him is snitching. 
on some very powerful people. And I'm really surprised that he's still moving around out here knowing, you know, the things that they know. But the thing of it is, I think the reason why he has not, nobody then came for him or whatever, thinking that he got some dirt on them and it's going to come out. Only reason why they probably have not came from him so far is it doesn't matter. If they went in there and raided that house and they got all of these tapes on these celebrities and they, you know, all the dirt on them as well, it doesn't matter if this man is breathing or not. They're, they still have what they need for other people. But like I told y'all before, this world is so tripped out that do it even matter? That list came out about that island over there. That list came out. And they haven't said a thing. They haven't questioned anybody on that list. They ain't want to pick up nobody. As if the list don't even exist. Why did they even release it to the public? If you weren't going to do anything about it. Oprah, all these people still running around as if they haven't done a thing. But they were all on that list. You know, um, why ain't anybody doing anything about that? I don't get it. If the person who island it was, was doing this dirt that he did enough dirt to go to jail or whatever, whatever, whatever. If his rich friends was over there doing the same thing and you have proof of all of this stuff. It's in the paperwork, all of that. Then why ain't they coming at anybody else, y'all? I'm just asking, okay? But anyway, y'all, enjoy, enjoy your day. Thank you to everybody that has been sending me the cash apps. Thank you to everybody that's been watching the commercials, trying to help the channel. Everybody that sends me stuff. Um, thank you all so very much, okay? Because it's been, I've been really, really busy lately with the, you know, school starting back with the kids. And I'm going to be completely honest with y'all. I couldn't stand school when I was in it. I just couldn't stand it. But, um, you know, I liked it, you know, certain subjects, but I really didn't like school, so... I'm trying to get back on schedule and everything with the kids and get everything straightened back out with my little sisters, okay? Because I don't have any small kids, okay, y'all? Only have one, <laughs> okay? Only have one, and he is grown. But, um, you know, my little sisters, you know, I have taken up that responsibility of helping them and helping my mom with them. So, yeah, um, it's a lot going on, y'all. A lot, as well as I told y'all, I have to kind of step back a little bit until things kind of die down a little bit, and you know, and then I'll, you know, I'm gonna come back, come hard. Okay, I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. Just get ready. Another thing that somebody was in my comment section, really, really quick, somebody left in my comment section. Um, you know, I can't wait for the you, you to put the video up about Kanye. I am working on it. I have a lot of pictures that I'm putting together. Um, I did numerology with it too, Gematria, my bad y'all. I did some Gematria with the whole Kanye West stuff too. So I am putting everything together. It takes me a while to get all the pictures together and all of that stuff and, and put it up there. So, um, I should be finished with it today though. I, I should be. I got all the pictures that I need in one folder. All the thing I'm doing now is, you know, going through everything and all of that stuff. So I will be doing a Kanye West video very, very soon. Um, so just wait for that one, y'all. Okay. Anyway, y'all, um, enjoy your day. Please enjoy. It's beautiful outside. It's not as hot as it has been lately. So it didn't cooled off a little bit. So enjoy your day. Um, stay safe this weekend. It's a holiday weekend. Everybody enjoy your day. Enjoy your food, all that good stuff. Don't eat too much and don't eat too much stuff you shouldn't be eating. Okay. Y'all, especially if you got issues going on. Okay. I know that food be smelling good and looking good, especially when, like your mama and all of them get in that kitchen and start the cooking and all of that stuff. Because my mama always make me mess up my diet every single time. She does. And I don't know if she do it on purpose or just she just a good cook. And when she go in there and cook, I be like, uh-uh. I got to have some of that. So she she been making me mess up a little bit. But I still have been losing, y'all. I have been losing. I done lost like five pounds. Okay, y'all? So I'm doing good. And probably more than that. I am doing much better right now. I got to weigh myself again. But last time, I think it was like five, six pounds that I had lost. So I am doing good when it comes to that. But when it gets around to my mama getting that, you know, that itch to go in that kitchen and get the cooking. I can't help it, y'all. I love, love, love to eat. But we do have to be careful right now what we are eating. Okay, y'all. Back in the days, I used to... Uh, 
and I ain't trying to be disrespectful to, you know, you know, any whites or anything like that. But back in the days, I used to laugh at you know, some of the white girls that be running around here to read them labels, y'all. I used to laugh my butt off. But now I see that we need to be doing that too. Reading them labels and making sure whatever you eating, you know what you putting in your body. Okay? They was just a little bit step ahead of us back then. And we used to laugh, but now it's not funny anymore. Okay? It's not funny. We got to start reading labels. They got so much stuff in this food that it's really bad for your health. So... Start paying attention, looking up some of them ingredients that's on there and seeing just how bad it is for people with certain issues. OK, so be careful with that. All right, y'all. Anyway, y'all, please like, share and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks for watching, y'all. Peace.